so we're not chewing sunflower seeds anymore, guys. So should be happy about that. Now I'm gonna reach out there and smack my hand. <laughs> Kind of weak. Let's try it again. Well, I won't be having any seeds today. So, on another note, Craig's found himself a pair of suspenders that he likes. They're the clip on style. Mine button on, no big deal. On another note, we have an off road recovery that we got to go do. It's a travel trailer stuck in the mud out by Dogtown. Dogtown got himself another one. It's gonna be a good day. What do you say, Trig? Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Hey, Trig, you want some seeds? Yeah. Why can't I Why can't we two sunflower seeds? Because the people don't like it. It's unprofessional. Like, it makes us talk like we got sunflower seeds in our mouth. Go ahead and get you a big old dollop of them. Dollop of them seeds there, Drake. Cut the whole cap off. Take every, take all that off. Oh, you mean build a truggy out of it? Yeah. Like a truggy. A truggy's like a, a truck buggy. Yes. Yeah, we can do that. No, I say we take that truck. We put two new doors on it. We cage it. Cage it all out. Cut the roof off right here. Leave the windshield. Cage it. And then we build two doors for it for the summertime and then in the winter time you could throw doors on it and then throw a canvas top on it keep the, the water off of you and then throw some Dana 60s in it throw a transfer case behind that tranny that's in there just four wheel the living sh Play yeah, we were thinking about going through here, but I can't make, I couldn't make that turn. It was too slippery. Yeah. Get you back that way. And get you turned around.
do that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. What are you weathering? Dude. Unprepared. Ah. You drive it out? Yeah. I think I throw in four loan. Let her eat. <laughs> That's a Holmes tree right there. So we're gonna throw a, we're gonna throw an endless loop on that Holmes tree right there, and we're gonna pull him up to this tree right here because see, the problem is is he's hitting this tree here when he's trying to come around because his ass end just sliding over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull him up to here, get the get the front of his truck over here, and then I'm gonna pull it this way, and then it'll break over. The front of his truck will break over and then come right around the tree. So, um, he can move. He's just he's just struggling. He can't maneuver the truck. Yeah. And I don't want to get in there and cowboy his rig for him. So, I mean, pretty sure I could just hammer that old Ford and get it out. But we're going to do a little controlled recovery here. So, What's a home street? Home street. It's right there. So, it's called a home street because... So Holmes used to make wreckers. Back in the day, Holmes was, you know, king. So uh, now what we call trees that we winch off to, we call it a Holmes tree. You know, a little tidbit for you. It's so the old Holmes tree. You know what he's talking about? <laughs> the Holmes tree? No. If you're, if you're like this, that's called a basket. See how you got it basketed? Yeah. It's a basket. It chokes like that. Or girth hitch. Girth but, hitch. But in rigging, it's called a choke. Nice. Does it need to be the other way? Like that? Okay. Alright, now throw your clevis in the middle. Now you got a bridle, see? Would you look at that? So we use a home street rather than taking our wrecker and having to pull up in here or work our wrecker in there you could just throw a choke around a tree endless loop and you could hook a snatch block right there and then it's like winching from that point so you don't have to put your wrecker up in there to to winch from these trees are solid so you just might want to make sure you're grabbing a hold of a solid tree you don't pull i pulled the tree over before like these ponderosa pines they got shallow roots so and when the ground's soft like that they'll come over if you grab them up high enough What the plan is, we're gonna pull it up to right there uh, with the winch. And then once we get it broke over right there, then I'll grab the front of it, pull out, and then pull it to that tree right there. Yeah. And if I have to, if your trailer doesn't break over fast enough, then all I'll do is I'll just take the wrecker and come in behind it, and just move it over a little bit. So, you want to hop in there, Trey? See how I got that around that tree trick? Yeah. That's a basket. That ink's going underneath. Put it in drive, but 
don't don't give any throttle. All right, so we put another snatch block in there because it's pulling really hard and it's starting to drag my truck. So now we got more pull on the tree, less pull on Hellboy. We doubled our winch line capacity, so uh, we're gonna give it another shot. So once we get him to right here, we're gonna stop. So we want him to break around this tree right here. It's starting to rain. It's shaping up to be a real nice day. See somebody said that Alec Baldwin and Rekka Rick shoot at the camera. Oh, good. Quality stuff. See if that guy wants a job. <laughs> well, I guess it's just gonna rain, huh? Well, we're, we're back here at the Northern Arizona Everglades. Just, you know, getting after it, swampland. Let's go to that tree right there. Pull them over that way. That, yeah. You get guys that come like out here, like that, like they'll pull up here. And they'll be like, hey, I can pull it out. You me to do it. <laughs> like Rowdy. You me pull it out, like I can pull it out right now. With my F-150.
Well, this turned into a doozy, huh? Glass and big buck deer. So, uh, I'm rigging this janky setup right here because um, we are unprepared. Shooting from the hip, just doing some real cowboy. So, uh, that's why you're seeing the rigging that you're seeing. But, it's gonna work. We just need a little pull this way. So. All right, so it's got a low winch line right here. So it's gonna go right underneath the hitch right there. It's tied in on the frame on the other side. And it's just gonna bring this right up this way as I bring the front that way. It's gonna work real nice. So we got the rear of the truck and the front of the trailer over to make this turn right here. We were worried about it being too tight coming around these trees right here. And uh, we got it to break over right there by running a winch line to the back off of that tree, pulling the back over, we're running a winch line to this tree, pulling the front over. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one off, we're gonna run it to that tra tree right there where Trig's at and pull the front of the truck to that tree and then uh, we'll take that rear winch line off because we're going to be done with it at that point because the trailer will have came over to where we want it to. Uh, we may have to pull the back of the trailer over. I don't know yet. I don't think we will, but I'm pretty sure that trailer's just going to follow that that F-250 around like a puppy dog. So. new with worm gear winches on it so we got this truck from um, a company in um, Texas and Drake was that in San Antonio Texas and uh, the guy's name is Richard that we got it from and he's a really cool guy uh, the trucks exactly what he said it was uh, we just it's just kind of a joke when we because I I really haven't gone through anything on it I've done very little to this truck and we're using it so every time something's wrong with it we're like thanks Richard so 
We're not serious, Richard. We love the we love the truck. So it's called Richard's Towing. I think Richard's Towing and Recovery. Yeah. We love a truck, but we just wish it was a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> we love the truck, Richard. We just wish it was better. Okay. If you're ever in San Antonio and you need a tow, call Richard. Days and nights work. Yeah, I'm tired. You want to glass some bucks after this? <laughs> yeah. Go spotlighting. Get that boom way up there. And put your wheel lift out and it'll stick that wheel lift in the ground and it'll create an anchor. See, no more sliding. You got a tree on the left side right here. Nice. <laughs> he just freaking smashed that tree. I know. I don't understand why. He didn't see it. See? Hey, he can pull you off if you want. 
pull you out. Okay, yeah. So you don't keep yeah. running into it or whatever. Scratched a corner on that battle area. We did. Look at Trake's beard. That's where he gets it from. You die that? Every day. <laughs> he gets it from me. He's got my jeans. I'm telling you, every day it gets thicker though. Like, just like two weeks ago when he came home, it was even thinner. He had like 100 hairs on his face back then. Now I bet you he's got every bit of 200 right now. <laughs> What happened to the spray paint? Tell the camera about the spray paint. Yeah, I was bent over welding a spindle and he decides to spray paint my ass crack. <laughs> True story. <laughs> it was just hanging out there. Like full on, like all of his ass was hanging out. The color. Like his black. <laughs> all right, so what we got here is uh, classic tried to pull out on his own and um, when he come around this curb it just sucked the ass end around he's got this big oh heavy trailer on the back and it's a bumper pull and so it takes the weight off the front axle and puts the weight on the back and uh, it's just they're not proportionate very well so when he come around here he couldn't get any traction and it just sucked his the rear of his truck over and he hit a tree so we got the trailer pulled over and now we're going to go around to the front and we're going to pull him out the rest of the way. He's stuck again, so, um, you know, it's all in a day's work. It's all in a day and night's work. Yeah.
Yeah. For rigging. All right. Well, thank you so much. Yes, sir. And you guys take care and appreciate it. As much as I enjoyed your company, I hope I never see you. <laughs> All right. Have a yeah, good I'll recommend you, though. Yes, sir. Guys, Please do. You guys did a good job. So. And, yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we'll get out of your way. If anybody breaks down up here, I'll let them know. Yes, sir. We do mainly heavy stuff, heavy towing. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much all we do. We do off-road stuff, but do a uh, small amount of light duty, but mainly just heavy stuff and rigs like this. So. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. You bet. Thank you so much. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Well, we came back and got a rigging all picked up and he's down the road. He's on the hard pack doing a scan of the area, make sure we got all of our rigging. That recovery went really well. I mean, we didn't scratch a corner on that bad Larry. Did he scratch a corner on that? Bad? He, he scratched several corners on that bad Jackson. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did do a walk around on that and every corner is scratched on that bad Jackson. We helped him get out of a jackpot about six or seven times a night. Definitely not not the road that he should be on. I think it should have went a lot faster if I had my Leatherman, but I didn't have it. Maybe some rain boots? Yeah, definitely get some rain boots. Or just some boots that still have the toe on them. <laughs> yeah. It was a good day? It was a good day. Yeah, that's what my AK was. Twist eggs. I mean, it was all in a day and night's work. We came, we saw, we recovered once again. We recovered several times. You stay classy, toeless. Twisted X boots. <laughs> what do we got going right now? We're going for a little swim. I bet him a hundred bucks he wouldn't do it. I said, you don't have hair on your ass, Drake. And he was like, I absolutely do. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, put your money where your mouth is. He's like, you got it, Toyota. All right. Oh, refreshing. <laughs> oh, oh, that was priceless. I just walked the road. I wouldn't even record it. Oh, yeah, you gotta do it again. Uh oh, oh. Great.